You've probably heard that animating your web interfaces can improve your user experience, but do you know what to be animating and how to do that in Vue? In this course, we will answer those questions as we build practical animations just about any web app can use. But first, let's understand why we should be animating to begin with. Human behavior these days can be a bit scattered. We're sending emails, we've got a bunch of tabs open, we're getting message after message after message, and we're scrolling through a bunch of different feeds. In short, our focus is split between a bunch of different things. So when a user arrives on your application, you're gonna compete for their focus and hope they don't get distracted and leave. We can use animation to dial in their focus and use motion to move their eye around the site and have them look where we want them to. There's likely a first step you want the user to take when they get to your site. Some line of copy you want them to read or a call to action button you want them to press. And by using animation, you can draw that user's eye to that first step, removing any confusion or distraction about how they should start engaging with your app. So here we are directing focus to inspire the action we want the user to take. So why does this work? This is actually a very primal human instinct. If you think about something quickly running past you, that's going to capture your attention. Sensitivity to visual motion has been a key survival trait. So in this example, we might be wondering, was the thing we just saw a predator or a prey? Or on a deeper level, am I in danger or am I safe? This is the same instinct that makes us jump back when we see a browser pop out of nowhere right in our face. It's pretty annoying and it triggers that visceral response within us. So we can avoid that by adding some animation and transition things in a natural way. So what do I mean in a natural way? Well, in the natural world, a sun doesn't just pop out of nowhere. It transitions as a sun rise. The position, scale, and colors are all changing together in a natural way. So we can animate well by mimicking how things happen naturally. So what does this look like in a web interface? Well, instead of breaking context, like this, where the user notices something changed on the screen, but they're forced to figure out what actually happened. Over time, this causes cognitive fatigue in our user. Borrowing from the natural world would look more like this, whereas we tab between to do and done, things transition and flow in a natural way. Again, we're creating flow by mimicking nature. Another example of this would be clicking on a hamburger icon, which naturally opens a menu. And the hamburger icon even transitions into the close icon and back and forth. Animating in this way makes the app more user-friendly because the user understands and remembers where things live within our application. That transition I just showed you is a lot more natural than the menu just jumping on and off the screen like this. Users will appreciate you taking the time to smooth out the user experience, which brings me to the final reason I believe we ought to be animating. And that is we can show the user that we care with thoughtful touches. What that might look like is instead of a user clicking a button and just waiting around wondering if it worked, we can give them direct feedback in real time, displaying a loading indicator and showing that the action happened successfully. Or on the other hand, that it didn't happen successfully. Another example might be crafting a custom loading indicator. Interestingly, studies show that custom loading indicators like this actually boost perceived performance, meaning the user is willing to wait longer for things to load. But as a word of caution here, just like any good meal, a well-animated interface needs to be well-balanced. Too few animations and we risk the app being dull and hard to navigate, too many and we risk ruining the user experience. So to review, we can use animations to direct the user's focus, inspiring the actions we want them to take, creating a natural flow in our application, and showing the user that we care, hopefully encouraging them to continue using our application. In the next lesson, we will build our first transition. See you there.